where you're talking to people, sometimes people are reticent to put their house in the market because they think the market's soft. You know, they read more of the national headlines as opposed to what's going on locally. So you've got to really talk it up whenever, wherever you're at because you don't know where that next piece of business is coming from. But what's really funny, and people about fall out of their chair when you tell them this, the best time for you to sell your house in a lo and move in a local market is when it's worth the least if you're moving up. If you're moving up, the best time to sell your house is when the market, when it's worth the least amount of money. And people are just going, <laughs> what do you mean? You know, we use the example of a, of a, you know, they say, well, I think I'll wait till next year. Maybe next year election's over. Maybe next year's going to be better. And uh, what happens is you say, okay, and these are just easy numbers to do. They're going to say they're in a $100,000 house and they want to move to a $200,000 house. And they're just hearing all these reports the market's not good. And they're saying, hey, you know, I've known you for years, but I just think that uh, this isn't the best time for me to sell. I think it, don't you think it'll be better next spring when things kind of settle down in Iraq and the elections and all that? And um, you say, well, look, you know, the market's a little bit soft right now, but that makes it an excellent time to move up. Even though you don't make as much on your house, you can more than make it up on the house that you're buying as opposed to waiting in here. So let's just say that um, the market's at its bottom, you know, it's soft right now. But let's, because we can do this in our heads, let's say that a year, a year from now your house is worth 10% more. Well, that's great. So now what's it worth, guys? 110? 10. Okay, now you're going to move up. What's this one done? It hasn't it's stayed at 200. 200. What's it at? 220. 220. It costs you $10,000 more to wait a year. To wait for the home prices to go up. Show them that example. It really hits home, and this is when you're moving in a lateral in a in a lateral market. Um, so there's never a bad time to sell. Okay, the um, you know if you've got a person moving down and they're wanting to wait, then I talk to them. If they're going from here down, you think well that's not going to work for them because the opposite was true. Well, you can talk to these guys about okay. How much will you save by having lower taxes? How much is that lower electric bill going to mean to you? You know, how much less upkeep are you going to have on a, on a smaller house? And um, and you know, the other thing, as far as moving, reversing again and moving up, is here you've been in this house for a year now. You've had an extra year's enjoyment of the bigger house if you move now as opposed to waiting. And uh, and the other thing you can talk. I mean, there's all kinds of things about the cost of waiting to buy. We don't know what interest rates are going to be a year from now. What would the impact be if interest rates are two percent higher a year from now than they are today on your payment? When today you can, yeah, rates have bucked up a little bit. They're still fantastic, right? Um, so there's many ways you can go ahead and convince them that not only is it the, the best time for them to move, this is the best time of year to put your house on the market for what we talked about earlier. Always remember that, regardless of the market, one of the last thoughts, regardless of the marketplace that you're in. And in the, in the mid '80s, I mean, I felt like a funeral director, you know, going in and telling them their baby had died. And people paid, you know, you go into a house that people pay 250 for and tell them it's worth 210, you know, something like that. And you just have to kind of the challenge is it's their home. It's a very emotional thing for them. But you just have to look at this was an investment that didn't go as well as as we hoped it would. Okay, and. You know, if you continue to, the market doesn't, hasn't appeared to change, so you continue to stay here, it's not going to make it any better. And where did you want to go? Always think about where they want to go, what their objectives are. But one thing that's true in every market, and I was selling houses in the, in the mid-80s where the oil, oil was at $10 a barrel. You know, the main difference between a, a you know, in the mid-80s, what the main difference was between a pigeon and a Texas oil man? The pigeon could still afford to make a deposit on a Mercedes. <laughs> but oil was $10 a barrel compared to today. And so everybody was hurting. But you know what? Events still happen. People still died. People still got divorced. People still got married. People still had kids and the house was now too small and they needed one larger. People got their kids out of the house and now the house was too big. We don't need this house. We're ready to downsize. Okay, all these events happen. Person, some people got promoted, a lot of people got demoted or lost their jobs. There were all the events that occur in the natural order of life still occur at those times and are reasons for people to want to sell houses. 
and to buy something different or to do something different. So let me tell you, you know, my main thought today is that this is, again, in summary, a huge opportunity for us to take more market share. It's a huge opportunity for you as an individual to recommit yourself to excellence in what you do. Try and focus on being a top 20 realtor, okay? Try and do the job better than 90% of the people out there. If you do average performance, you're going to remain an average realtor. And there's not anything that necessarily wrong with that. It just depends on where you want to take your business. Okay, so what this is all about today is how do I grow my business in times that are a little bit tough? And, and it's a huge, that glass of water is, is more than half full. It's a huge opportunity for anybody in this room to take advantage of. Any questions or thoughts or challenges that any of you are facing on any subject, I'd be happy to, happy to answer them. Talk about it. Nothing? Okay, thanks for coming, guys. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you.